Hi, this is Melinda with Melinda Howard Art. Today I'm going to show you how I created this multi-layered background using stencils and Ranger Alcohol Lifting Ink. Hi, today I'm going to show you how I do a background for one of my bird paintings by adding extra texture with stencils. Here's an example of a painting that I did recently of a parakeet. I used the same technique I'm going to show you today to do the background using the alcohol lift ink and a simple flower stencil. I'm going to be using only one color. This is Pink Sherbert Alcohol Ink by Ranger and I've diluted it with um, about 75% of the 91% alcohol to 25% of the alcohol ink and that's what's in this bottle here. I'm only using one color because the background will already be a little bit busy and I don't want to do too much so that the focus is off of the bird. The bird itself will be the focal point and will be a little more colorful, but I want the background to have different textures because I really like that look. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this airbrush. Um, it is a rechargeable one with a mini compressor and it's not as strong as other airbrushes that are out there, but it is convenient because there's no cord that I have to mess with. I can just move around without worrying about a cord being in my way. Oh, there's a bird singing in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> I love that. The charge only takes about an hour and then the, the actual time you can use it is about half an hour, which is plenty for me to do one particular background. So that's the tool that I'm using there. Then I will be using alcohol lift ink and a little stamp tool with a sponge to lift out some of the color with a stencil, such as this stencil. I'm also going to be using this. It's not really a stencil. It is a metal craft piece that I got at Hobby Lobby. I just really love this texture that I couldn't find in any other stencil. It's a little thick, but for what I'm using it for, it, it works just fine and it'll last a long time since it's metal. I really like it. So I'll be using that as well to create texture after I'm done with the initial background. So I'm going to get my gloves on and get started. Okay, done with that part of it. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my airbrush so I'm ready for the next time. Okay, so I've created this background and it has just some small finger-like textures in it. I'm gonna let that rest for just a minute, make sure it's good and dry. For this part, I'm going to have a towel sitting here so I can blot off my my little sponge. This is just a little Brie Reese stamp that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm also going to have another paper towel to lift off 
once I add the alcohol lift ink. First one I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of flowers in the background. I don't want them to be really bright and precise. I don't want to lift off so much ink that all you see is a bright white flower because this is just for the background. It's not the focal point. So I just want some interest in my background other than what I've got here, which this is very interesting. But I really like having something else in the background. Um, so I'm going to place a flower maybe like right here. It really doesn't matter where you put it. I will be putting the cardinal in the middle. I don't want to have all these pattern things all around the outside and then there be nothing and then the bird. I'm going to put flowers randomly around and I'm not going to avoid the middle, but I'm not going to do too much so that the bird is lost. Okay, so I'm putting just a few drops of the alcohol lift ink on my little sponge and I'm just going to blot it off just a little because I don't want it to be so wet that it seeps underneath. Also, a thing I want to, um, to mention is that this alcohol lift ink needs to dry. I let it dry overnight. Otherwise, if you go touching it or painting on top of it, it's just going to smear. So, what you need to do is just lightly pounce on top of your stencil. Don't slide or rub or twirl. Just lightly pounce because all you're doing is adding the alcohol lift ink where you want it. You're not using it to erase. You're just adding it on top of your stencil and then you're going to be wiping away the ink with your paper towel. Alright, so I'm going to take my paper towel and just blot. And I'm pressing a little heavier with my paper towel than I did with my stamp. And I'm just pressing, you see how the ink is lifting off? I'm just pressing in, not moving my stencil and not swirling or doing anything with my paper towel. I'm just pressing down on top to lift off what the alcohol lift ink has already kind of activated. Not all of it is going to be lifted, but that's fine. That's what I want. I don't want crisp lines. I want a pattern to emerge, but not overtake. So I like that. You see that there's something there, but it's not overly done. So I'm going to add maybe this one, maybe here, or I'll, I'll add it down here. I'm just going to use the alcohol lifting that's already in the sponge. I don't want to oversaturate, so there's already some in here. So I'm just pressing down, just straight down. Like I said, I'm not, not swirling it or anything or wiping. I'm just pressing. And since there's not fresh alcohol lifting on here, I'm pressing a little harder than I did over here. Another thing to note, if you get it too wet and you don't wipe off enough with your paper towel, it will continue to move. It'll end up wiping out pretty much your pattern that you've created. In some cases, that's fine. Like I said, I don't want it really, really stark white. So a little blurring is totally fine. I'm just creating texture. Okay, now I'm blotting it up with my uh, paper towel, just making sure not to wipe or cause any movement. Ooh, that looks cool. I really love that, almost like sunburst effect that it did. It's really awesome. I like it. I'm going to put several of these 
flower patterns around and I'm also going to use this one. I don't have to cover the entire piece with this metal. I'm just going to do maybe right here and I'm not going to put it straight because it's not the look I want. And I'm pressing down on my stencil so it doesn't move so that it's flat enough. Alright, now I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to press in even a little harder with this one since the stencil is a little thick. And I like it. Another thing that you can do is keep pressing after you take the the stencil away and it will blur it just a little bit so you don't have real sharp lines. Alright, let's add more of this. I'm really liking the pattern that it's creating and I want to do some toward the middle so that the bird is kind of laying on top of the texture so it's not just surrounding the bird. Okay, I think I have plenty. Um, if you look at it and you feel like it's a little too busy, you can just take your paper towel and just dab a little more. It will blur the flower or whatever the subject is, or whatever the stencil is, a little bit more. And you don't want it to be overly done. I'm just gonna blur this out a little bit more. So here's my background. I really, I really love this. I will be doing a, a video soon where I'm going to paint the bird. Um, if you want to see that, just make sure you subscribe and click the little bell so that you'll be notified when I do put that video on my channel. But thank you so much for watching. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do use the Ranger Alcohol Lift Ink, let me know how you use it. And if you use stencils on your backgrounds, 